This QDS video will build a sample ACASI survey, demonstrate this survey showing different types of questions and responses, and finally, we will take a look at our saved data file. Once you have completed your survey development in the Design Studio, or would just like to test your survey as it currently stands, go to Build ACASI Application from the main menu. This will open the Control File dialog box. The default file name will be listed here. You will notice that the name is a combination of the Design Studio file name plus EN for English plus ACASI.QSI. If you wish to change any build options, click the Options button that is located in the lower right corner. Then, after you're finished changing any options, click Save. You will be asked if you would like to try out your control file now. If you say yes, the first screen of your survey will open. Alternately, you can open the ACASI survey by double-clicking on the survey file name from Windows Explorer. Note that you could also have a desktop shortcut to start from. Again, notice that the ACASI interview control files will always have an extension of .qsi. ACASI will open to the first screen of the survey. For this demonstration, there will not be audio reading the questions out loud. However, QDS ACASI supports both AT&T Natural Voices or recorded audio files. On this first screen, you will see a display of the interview date and start time. It is usually a good idea to have these recorded. They are added in the Design Studio file with automatic date and time type elements. The information screen here displays those. If there's a problem, the interviewer can fix them right away. The date and time data will be saved in your ACASI data set. When the interviewer is ready to proceed, they can click Next Question. The first question in this ACASI is to collect a numeric subject identifier. If keyboard use is allowed, this is something set under ACASI Build Options, you can use your keyboard to enter the number. You can also use the clear button to erase an entry, and you can use the on-screen keyboard as well for entry. And once you're complete, click Next Question to continue. The first screen for the respondent is an information element that reads, Welcome to our study. Thank you for participating. You will notice that in the bottom right of each screen, there is a Previous Question button which allows you to go back, a Next Question button allowing you to go forward after a response is entered, and a Repeat the Question button that will repeat the audio. This next screen demonstrates a gender question that uses the male and female picture buttons. After you make your selection, ACASI will proceed to the next screen. The next question is, what is your date of birth? This demonstrates a data element with a date type response. Again, you can use your keyboard to enter numbers for year, such as 1990, or you can use the arrow keys to select the response that you would like. Once you're complete, click Next Question to continue. The next screen shows a Check All That Apply type question. Which of the following best describe your race? You can see that you're able to select more than one response. And you can check a response again to uncheck it. This question also includes an other response. If it is selected, the next item in this study will be an other specified text item. This is something that was programmed in the Design Studio as a data element with a text type response. When you are done selecting all your Check All That Apply responses, click Next Question to continue. Since we did select Other as one of our race choices, our next screen is the text type response for entering the Specify Other Race. This screen would have been skipped over if we had not selected the Other response. This is programmed with a Skip element in the Design Studio. After we have entered the Other response of Chinese, We'll select Next Question to continue. 
The next question has a pick one type response for what is your current marital or partnership status? You will note that this question also has another category. When we pick our one response, we will immediately proceed to the next screen. When we pick other, once again we'll proceed to the other specify screen that was programmed. If you would ever like to change your prior response, as we'll do for this particular example, select previous question, and here you'll notice that we can see what was previously selected and then we can change our response. Sometimes in a survey you will want to have a transitional information screen that alerts the respondent to the next type of questions coming up. Here this screen tells them that the next set of questions will be about your health. The first health related question demonstrates a yes no type response that uses the yes and no picture buttons. In the past year, has a health care provider recommended that you receive a flu vaccine? And for this item, we have also allowed the special code responses of don't know, refused, and not applicable. These buttons are always in the upper right hand corner of the ACASI screen. For this study, the refuse button will be invisible until it is triggered by clicking the right and left mouse buttons in the upper right of the screen, like so. This is an ACASI build option to make the refuse button invisible when it is allowed until it is triggered by the staff with that special key combination. After you're done making your selection, ACASI will proceed to the next screen. The next screen demonstrates a rating scale type response where you can answer the question, how would you rate your current state of health? You can click on the line from 0 being worst possible health to 10 being perfect or best possible health. After selecting your response, click on next question to continue. Sometimes for a rating scale, you would like to have intermediate points on the line labeled as well. You can do this with a rating scale response card. Here, you can respond to the question, what number would you use to rate the medical care you received in the past 12 months? From 1 being worst possible care, through 10 being best possible care. Again, after you select your response, click Next Question to continue. The next question shows a time span type response. How long has it been since your last medical appointment? The time span categories for this particular item are years, months, and days. Other options to include could be weeks, hours, minutes, or seconds. Up to three categories maximum for a question. Again, you can use the keyboard if that is allowed to enter your response, or you can also use the arrow keys and click the next question to continue. Sometimes you will have a series of pick one, check each, or rating scale type questions where the response categories repeat. For example, here we have a question, in the last two weeks how much were you distressed by nervousness or shakiness inside? This series of questions will always have the response categories of not at all to extremely. This is programmed with a response card in the Design Studio. Here's the next question in this series that uses the same set of responses. That was the final question in our survey. So our last item is an information element screen that displays a thank you to the respondent. After selecting next question on this final screen, you will be asked for the exit password. That is an ACASI build option that was specified in the Design Studio. It is usually a good idea to have exit passwords for ACASI surveys to prevent the respondent from exiting without staff assistance. After entering the password, you will see the question box, do you want to continue with another interview? If you say yes, a new interview will begin. If you choose no, you'll see an empty ACASI window. Note that the data is automatically saved if that option was turned on, again under ACASI build options. Once you're done, go to Interview, Exit to close ACASI. 
To see the saved data file from the interview, go back to the folder that contains the QSI ACASI interview control file. You will see that we have two new files. The first one is studyenacasi.log. This is a log file that contains interviewer comments if there were any. Generally, this is going to be empty for an ACASI survey, and so you don't really need to worry about it. The second file, study on ACASI.QAD, is the ACASI data file. This is the file that you will bring into the Warehouse Manager for data management and export. And the final file, again, is your ACASI interview control file that has the extension .QSI. To learn more about QDS data files and data management with the Warehouse Manager, see QDS Online Help or other QDS videos.